Well, that looks nice and deep. We have a pretty good idea where it goes. Um, it's a bit of a mess, but we're going to head right down, right down through there. Uh, Tony's going to go ahead and rig on to the, to the uh, D-rings and go ahead and set up a, an anchor. I think the truck's probably heavy enough to hold us, but yeah, I think so. Yeah. Not very frequent we can drive right up to a mine, but this one we can. And then what he's going to do is he's going to go straight over and build build the anchor right there. So it's, it's just a simple overhand knot. Um, considering what it's doing, you don't need to worry about a figure of eight in there. It, it really isn't going to go anywhere. Doubled up as well. Oh, we might even have some light. There you go. You might Bye. need some light. Bye. Have fun. Bye -bye. Don't forget to write. Or thereabouts. Yeah, there was certainly, certainly something below us, wasn't there? Yeah, Tony says this is probably a backfilled stove, <laughs> and I suspect he's exactly spot on. This thing goes down below us. Huh, okay. Well, that's as much as I've managed to dig out so far. Right. I will get out of your get way. Get out of my way. Your way? Can't quite get that. Can't, I've almost got the accent perfect, but not just not yeah, quite. Yeah, it needs a little bit of work. <laughs> yes, Ken. I mean, uh, I mean, Jeff, I mean, uh... Now, are you going to be just throwing right back here? If um, so, I'm going to get out of the way. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so we dug, dug that out enough for me to squeeze down in there. And it looks like it's another, another stope. Just down from this one, terribly narrow. Looks like it drops into an ore chute, but wasn't worth trying to continue on. Pretty dangerous back in there. And then uh, I come squirming out of here. Tony had to give me a little bit of a hand because there's nothing to hold on to. And But out we come. I think we're gonna head down a little bit further. See what we find. Yeah, that, that's always back to the roof. Yes. And from here, it looks like it's just dirt. Uh, no, no lagging, no wood, no anything. So it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a step down, and then down a bit further to see where we are. That that was the level. And it's been backfilled up to you. All the way up? Yeah, but it looks uh -huh. like where you are was the step into that stoke. So it was a stoke with just a window. There's a can buried there. Not very interesting. Oh, yeah. It's a, to something. A bit of pipe. <laughs> Which you don't want rolling down on us. Which, if it's gonna roll down, I'm gonna bump it, knock it down. <laughs> no, I mean, no. No. Yeah. Ooh, what's that? Let me get the light out of your eyes so you can see a little bit better. And Tony is down there and wants to dig. Are you digging it, Tony? I am digging it. Are you digging it? I'm gonna be digging it a bit more in a minute. Gonna be really digging it and it's gonna get dusty down there. Anyway, that's how uh, that's how he goes. He likes to to find everything there is to find in any given location and there he goes. Hmm.
Hmm. Tony found that tiny little scraping shovel. And he can't determine yet quite whether it was machined that way or with, whether they modified it, but it really does look very much like it was, was made that way because of the small handle and everything. So super cool. This is down. We're just gonna head on down this um, and see what we can find. Tony says he's found another stope down there. So we're gonna go down and find it. Just had to do a not bypass. No fun, but uh, we're past, so happy about that. Something you, if you're gonna be on rope, something you need to practice. I need practice. <laughs> Over there. Now I've gotta get all my gear back on. And... Yeah, well that was my initial thought, which is why I come up this side thinking we'll have a look around. Because it just seemed it felt elated, huh? Oh, we found another one. It could now, be. I, I, it could be something that was repurposed. Yeah, but we've not. I've not found these before. No. And once again, this looks like a spoon that they would have used to clean out either horizontal or. Uh, downward inclined uh, boreholes. You'd use this to pull all the dirt out. And now we've seen two of them in just a couple days. Yeah. And I have not seen these. Truthfully, I haven't seen them before. No. The last one was the first one I'd ever seen, and this is the second. Mm. It was just, it was I, a, I think it was just yeah. in the dirt down here. I've not found anything else of any interest. Yeah. And the other end's a clevis, so it, obviously it was repurposed. repurposed. They took this and. Yeah. Turned it into one. Okay, so we're in a side drift. We've been all the way to the bottom. Um, what we're gonna try to do now, there's a, a downward stope that we're gonna explore. And uh, we're probably 35, 40 feet from the bottom, something like that. Yeah. And. Tony's just getting stuff reorganized. The exciting thing is, once I got up here, there is a through draft. Oh, okay. Which is what we were looking for. It would be a way to get oxygen and get someplace where you could be rescued. So it's. Uh, or if the, uh, for instance, if the, if there's a collapse, say the head, what's left of the head frame collapses in, and you can't can't get up the incline. Yes, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Um, People will know you're down here, so when you don't turn up, they'll know to come and look for you. If they know that this connects to it definitely, um, and that you can get back to this point easily, then it's just a case of dropping. It's still best part of 200 feet, well, about 100 and, 170 feet 170, from the surface yeah. to yeah. this point. But there's good airflow, and you're actually probably within shouting distance of the surface. So um, right. if all else fails, <clears throat> just head back to this point. Anything else, Tony? I'm gonna shut this off. No, that's it. Last time, last opportunity. That's it. Bye. Uh, uh, da, da, da. Yeah. Ah, here we go. Do we go up or down? Let's go up and over. Up. Over. of you that are curious, I just had my 65th birthday, so 65? <clears throat> yes. Is that even possible? Not to be down here. At 65 I should be in a rocking chair. Yeah. Oh wait, no, I should not be in a rocking chair. 
I should be out doing this with Mr. Tony. Okay. <laughs> and just so you know, it's not that he's clumsy, he's walking backwards with the camera. <laughs> Up a slope in the dark. But apart from that... With, with a rope in my hand. Oh, yes, you've got a rope. Oh, the sheer, sheer zones. The slicky slide stuff. Yes, a bit of timber for someone to stand on. While they were digging away, you can certainly see what they were following. So that's a nice 40 or 50 foot drop. Yeah. bar here so all <laughs> good yeah okay so Tony is gonna head down we believe this is probably the connection to the other mine it it makes sense since the um, the connection from the lower mine was via an ore chute so this seems to make this make sense um, Tony's just going to get a hold of the rope with his teeth and he'll just rip down there and oh wait that's not this that's not this video sorry never mind never mind no I, I've just got to go to the bottom of this to see if it holds my weight yeah if it doesn't then we'll yeah, know yeah then I won't go down there yeah little bit of a tight wedgie wedgie it's going to bring all sorts of rubbish with it. Can I kick some down too? Uh, come on, stop. You couldn't wait to get me down the green ro rope. Yeah. Oh, really uncomfortable. You're going to go. I'm not going to squeeze that handle or else I'm going to shoot through there like a poke out of a cannon. Anything you'd like to say before you go down? Bye. <laughs> yeah, bye. So what's the depth look like? Oh, that's a bit better. It's, you know, it's about 18 to 20 feet below me. Oh, okay. 23, 24 foot in total. Yeah, I was guessing. Uh, so we're, we're down on that uh, sub level. We've gone through an ore chute. There's an old, old wooden box just rotted to almost nothing. Certainly couldn't do anything with it. Um, and then down here, oops, I'm walking like a drunk, down here to another, uh, another ore chute. Obviously this was a level because you can, as we walk along, you can see the, uh, where the stulls were, or the cross ties were, and uh, then back filled right there. Ooh. Okay. But I do wonder if that's the incline, just there. Uh, could be. So if you could clear that enough to get a person through, now you know it's likely to go through the other side. If you had someone on the other side, uh, maybe make voice communication. Right. That would give you an idea if, if, it, yeah, if you could touch fingers or whether we're still 20 or 30 feet apart, but it's got to be very close, the incline. So, uh, yeah, I bet that could be cleared. Okay, I'm going to... I'm just going to shut this off <clears throat> and we will come back to you when we've got everything set up. Tony's been down, found it, come back up and he can give a full report. <laughs> Oh, we're going down, we'll come up. 
Oh, did I say Tony? Oh, yeah. Uh huh. It's, uh, I can't yeah. believe you make me do all these scary things on my own. Yeah. Okay, so we're coming down through that mass. It's an ore chute, and right on down here, I've been kicking every rock possible down on Tony. And he's trying to dig his way out of where I have buried him. So if anybody comes looking for him, don't look down here. He's absolutely not here. Right, Tony? Please be throwing down all these rocks. <laughs> We're kind of in a position where uh, we're out of rope and we're out of stuff. So, at some point in time, we'd like to get into the mine instead of just making a mess of it. Oh, I see what you say. Because he was saying he believes at one time there might have been a level down here. It went left, it went right, and he's digging left. There goes the bat. Hello, little bat. He's circling around and heading up. What's going on down there, big guy? Have you got anywhere? <laughs> you will not believe the amount of stuff I've dug out. <laughs> Is it the stuff I threw in? <laughs> well, there's that as well. <laughs> but I only just about fitted through this squeeze. Uh-huh. And if you look, that's the angle of the dip of the ore body. So it's about Probably 45 degrees, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less. There was a fault right there. I found Scooby-Doo. Dooby Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Dooby-Doo. Yes, you did. <laughs> so this is the next little squeeze down through here. Does it open up or is it uh, just a long squeeze? No, it's a full-size passage. Ah, okay. So we're making real progress then, not just not just incremental. Let me get my backpack down through. And then we will start to try to work our way down through here. It's as narrow as all that. Oh, it'd be easier if I wasn't dragging all my all my pulling uh, uh, gear. Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And we have a we have a full-on drift. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And we got a full, full blow of air. We have is, now. Yeah, since before I've it was up, going. <laughs> to give you an idea how much I moved. When I first come in, I explored this. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> and what he's saying is he explored that. <laughs> I, I went in there to make sure there was no artifacts in there. Oh my. And then I started uh, moving everything off from where you're sitting because it was still like squeeze even to here. Ooh. I had to back all the way down into this and it had just, Angler proposed into this stuff. And there's there's Scooby. Let's get let's get Scooby out there. Hey Scooby! Scooby how are you how you doing little man? Turn that down a little bit. There's Scooby Dooby Doo. <laughs> that is the mine mascot. Ooh. Oh, fancy a Scooby snack. And by the way, we are way the heck down here. <laughs> this is a, what, seven on the, on the Explorer scale? Um, yeah, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, a lot of people would have looked down and written a lot of these off. Just gone, no, they don't go anywhere. Yeah. But you've got to go all the way down there and even if you get to the bottom, have a little look because you may find there's a little squeeze up. 
And uh, as I say, we had some air to follow. So I got to the bottom and just said, I don't know if you're about to see it, but just clapped your hand and see where the dust goes. Just right down the drift. And um, at the bottom of that little drift where we come down there, it just went <laughs> <laughs> and straight through this little hole. So uh, cleared it out a bit and then punched myself through and uh, it comes into here. And by the way, this is, but it is not a particularly easy climb through. You need what, three, at least three lengths of rope? You need three lengths of rope. You need long sleeves t-shirts and knee pads. Uh, Which were well equipped with all of that. A shovel would be nice. A shovel <laughs> would be nice. The good thing is there's so much dust being kicked up, but it's blowing it ahead of us which is why another reason I wanted to open this up a bit because it's really, it's probably tripled the amount of air coming through here. And thank goodness, because it's just going to make it much yeah. easier to... As I say, now the dust is zooming away. Yeah. Before it was definitely flowing, but that's about as much as you can say. Right. So, um, yeah, this makes it, this makes exploring a lot easier. And then what I'm going to do at the bottom of this um, incline, or shoot, or whatever shoot, you want to call yeah. it, um, all of the dust is falling down. Uh, although the level goes both ways, it's almost closed level going that way. Where I've dug it out, it's caused a bit of a drain off coming this way. So I'm going to put some timber in to act as a bit of a dam to let any more debris that falls down can build up behind it and hopefully keep this this airway open longer. Yeah. Um, because when I got down here, it was it was really a hold, probably no bigger than that. Uh, I might have been able to push my bag through it. That was about it. Oof. So, um, yeah, so it's, it's made it a lot easier to get in. Much better airflow. And from the floor of the drift to the top of this pile is at least, what, four, four and a half feet? Uh, yeah, well, it, well, it's all the way to the ceiling where we come yeah. through. So, yeah. so it's a, um, yeah, it's five, good five foot, approaching six foot deep there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you can see where people have been shoveling this back over God knows how many years. Trying um, to keep it open a little bit. Trying to keep it open bit, yeah. so that, yeah, they, they were desperately trying to keep this open. Yeah. Even if it's just for a man way, rather than bringing ore in and out. But um, yeah, there's a lovely gale flowing through there now, so. Yeah. Yeah, time for a drink. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're gonna move on. <laughs> I wonder what that is down there. A box full of gold, I think. Yeah, I'm certain that's it. Hercules Powder Extra. Beautiful box. Beautiful box. It's a wedge that reaches places not all wedges can reach. Yeah, look at that. That was a wedge at one point in its life. It curls round and this scope up there. Quite a long way up. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, I know exactly where we are. Does it seem a little bit familiar? Does it seem familiar? Yes. Yep, we found it. We know the connection. Ooh, don't do that, please. We could just climb straight up and out of the mine if it wasn't gated up at the top. Nearly there. Just because I have bad balance. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yep. 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 Really pretty here with the amount of timbers put in, but they've just gone to mush. Yeah. I mean, it's, it looks like it's damp, but it's more like it's just dried the hell out. Um, do you remember in, when we heard that the mine had the big pump and the lower levels had gotten flooded? Yeah. I suspect it was 
There is a period in time when this is a very humid mine. Right. And some rot ensued and... I mean, it's, it's certainly showing the signs of, of, of rot. Yeah. Right, right inside. Yeah. But it's, it's just so dry now, it's just hard to picture that, that it would have be ever been dampness. Yeah. Actually quite interesting up there, but nasty. These are still good, which is good, although I don't know what's supporting that end. Luck? Mm. <laughs> that beam's okay and that one's okay, but that is a bit dodgy. Yeah. But ladder down, little broom down there and a bucket. Yep. I've sat on that bucket many a time. How far are we from the incline? Ah, uh, 50 feet. Oh, wow. And is that the route down? Yep, down. It makes a right hand turn and you're at the base of the incline. Well, be rude not to, wouldn't it? Yeah, I guess so, yeah. Just where you want the step. There isn't one. There isn't one. Yep. I'll blame the mine manager. Oh, yeah. LFA. Oh, yeah, that leg hurts. <laughs> and this. I'm almost certain it was one of the lights off the head frame because there was a couple of those. It's a shiwi. Very. Oh, shh. In case you really got to go. No, it's, it's a lady shiwi. I know, but look at the yeah. size of that. I know. <laughs> you know it could be a she poo as well, I guess. It's got a pair of jeans waiting in the bottom of it. Where I have been here before. Let's see. Berry trucking. Very cool. Hey Max, how you doing? Miss you. And obviously that's down. Obviously that's up. Up is about 300 feet. Oh, we got some rope here. Ah, this is where it comes out. Ah. Yeah. Well, that's a really easy connection. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Nice quartz seam right there. Really pretty. So we've had <laughs> An amazing explorer. We knew we could find it. We did. We did. He did. I followed. I'm good support. Very good support. <laughs> Very good. So anyway, we, we absolutely had a great time. Uh, you, there might be some other footage on the way out, but uh, yeah, we made the connection that everybody has been looking for for a while now. So we know how to get here. We know what to do. Yeah. Good just, job. Just need a few ropes set in and... Yeah. 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 Good. That was good fun. Really enjoyed it. Yep. Cool. Anyway, thank you.